whatever my mom has planned. Yeah, go to Anna's. I know my cousin texted me and was like, what do you want to do when you come home? And I'm like, girl, I don't know, like just do just the chill. things when we're home. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, see the people I want to see. Yeah. Yeah, go to Anna's and like. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's the best. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, just hang out. My mom usually has a full itinerary and I just fly around with her and yeah, I'm like, what are we doing? Love it. Yeah. I'm like, I'll work out, I'll yeah. eat out, like whatever, just like basic stuff. Get your, um, there's not like mo- like monuments, spots. you know, or like yeah, museums there's not, or something. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, well, there's and you not have like a, like a set thing on Saturday. Right. And it's like, I don't need to go to like a sporting event or something. I was like, maybe mm-hmm. I'll like, maybe I'll go to Milwaukee. Like, but I'm like, well, my thing's on a weekend. So actually, like, yeah. I probably won't. Well, you're working, I'm still working still. Yeah. 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 I'm only taking a half day. For the traveling portion, okay. which I really I probably just should take a whole day. It's probably going to turn into me taking a whole yeah, day. I like, so. yeah. I'm just be, I'll be on my Slack. Yeah, be like, hit me if, up if you need me. If but, you need me, Slack me. But like, also don't. But also, <laughs> but also don't. Yeah, I'm like it's chill. But also don't. So yeah, no, I've been thinking. I'm like, oh, I like would love to like go on a vacation. <laughs> no, for real. But then I'm like. I don't think it's in the cards for me this year. I just don't. But I would love like to lay, <laughs> you know, <laughs> into would experience. Nice. Would be nice. And to see. And I'm to kind do. of taking Fourth of July as my pseudo vacation because right. that's relaxing. I mean, yeah. it's like funny and silly, but like it's. Well, could you take any like extra like a day off before try. any of your weddings or things? I am. I'm. T- I'm always. I'm taking you know, like the day before or after anything. You yeah, know what like I'm, I'm taking the Fridays off. Right, but that's because it's like rehearsal like you know what I mean like yeah. welcome party things but um yeah we'll see maybe I can like finesse be like please don't bother me today unless you yeah really need me. or I'll do like I'll do the barest of bare minimum right like I'll send my little reports and I'll move on and you're, wel- <laughs> and you're welcome yeah thanks yeah, for coming so we'll- <laughs> thanks for coming bye that's the- so that's my wait what is it like the phrase it's like so that's my life I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> oh yeah! Like, uh, thank thanks you for so watching. Much for, thank you so much for listening, or whatever yeah. she said. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, yeah. the Hillary Duff sound. Yeah, oh, that's funny. It's a good sound. It's um, a good sound. but anyway, y'all. Hello. Hi everyone. Welcome. It's us. We're back. Uh, hopefully you've noticed an audio difference because <laughs> I did some magic testing, research, development. I don't know what the word is, but I think we got back to back to our feng shui. Homeostasis. Yeah, we were off for a second there. I don't know. It was like user and error. It's called black magic. Yeah. Also, Days the system confusing. was being weird. I will admit. No, it was. It was. It was, <laughs> it was confusing weird, me. It was doing the weird red thing. <laughs> yeah. Which I think that is not, just like it letting you know. It's too hot. Yes. Basically, the moral of the story, guys, is we are too hot. We on were too mics. sexy. We were Get too it sexy. sexy. Get it sexy. Hey, hey. Ah, ah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were just too hot for these mics, so Seriously, like we, we had to cool it down. We hot girled too close to the sun. <laughs> so we Cla- had to, Classic us. I know, just had to get classic humbled. Classic us. Had to do, you know, some internal research yeah. and I working doing... on ourselves. We're... <laughs> yeah, one fist away. We're fist... <laughs> Yeah, let like remember the fist. You have to put your fist. Never forget. Fist, fist distance. Um, from the mic. From the mic. So I that's think what we're. We heard. I think we're here. Or that's like what one guy on the internet told me. So. So the text. <laughs> yeah, it is. He I mean, he had our same setup. He had these mics and the Volcaster, and I was like, oh, so everything you He's say. He's part of the team must, now. If A is A and B is B, then C is definitely C. A, yeah, exactly, or whatever yeah. that you know uh, formula is. But anyway, <laughs> we're not talking about formulas we, today. We've established that we're not scientists. Yeah. Uh, we're artists. We're, <laughs> we're <laughs> bachelors of the arts. Exactly. Everyone. Exactly. Um, but you know, Blake made us these cutie. Blake's in his like mixologist moment. He, <laughs> last night he made us like blood orange margaritas that were so good. And then he has all this gorgeous citrus. So now he's he made us the t- is it tangerine lacroix yeah tangerine and La put Croix. a little orange slice on them and i'm just like at the finest resort in this town <laughs> i'm obsessed with it like obsessed. the sun is shining no, the, the sun birds is are sh- chirping the birds are really it's like you're on chirping. a beach if you close your eyes is there like a, a nest around? i don't know what the fuck there is probably it's kind of like it's giving um oh oh, 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 oh. oh like when then, you like wake up and sing yeah. to the birds yeah and do you yeah, do yeah, that yeah. ever no. No, you don't poke your head out the window. No, they kind of get annoying, but they're just yeah. like always there. I feel like so it's like kind of just like getting Tune numb it out. to them. Yeah, yeah. I'm like oh yeah. whatever. I don't know. Usually the TV's really loud with girls fighting, so <laughs> it's like I don't even hear them. 
<laughs> Blake's watching his ladies. Yeah, I'm like, oh, the housewives are yelling again. Yeah, Turn yeah. it up. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that was a good burn. Let me watch it again. <laughs> you have to tell the tell the listeners what happened. Oh to my you. god, you guys, okay. this is huge. This is huge. Big for the program. So, Nicole, uh, especially for you if you're listening. And so, obviously, Bethany Frankel, no one love her would die for her and I like will comment on her stuff every once in a while just like all the different influencers and celebrity pops that I like I just have to let them know that I exist so they just you know don't forget me and she responded back to my TikTok comment because I was like oh my god because she just was going over she's finally like going through what her like she, her divorce took like 10 years or whatever what yeah because she got married to the guy like while skinny girl was like getting huge and like that whole deal and so like just so much money and like just it was all this drama it took 10 years whatever long story long um i haven't listened to it yet i only know like bits and pieces from like the clips that she's posted but anyway she like put a story up and that was like when you finally like are releasing your trauma or whatever like that was the wow TikTok. yeah and that's why i was like oh like we don't deserve you like love you so much or whatever she said likewise i said ah so they're best friends now. <laughs> no, like we've literally hung out. You like, guys, li- like you're, I'm gonna you meet lunch, her next. You two like lunch together. Oh my basically god, we're now. gonna lunch together. Mm-hmm. Even though she doesn't really love that, but okay. we're gonna do it. Yeah. Maybe now she does. Just like maybe not with the girls on the show. You know. Yeah. Right. Well. You should, right. Yeah. I think she said a lot of. Growth. She would lunch with you. Yeah. Exactly. I I <laughs> fear that it would be too powerful. No, the it would. The two of you. In a room together next to each other shooting the shit. Like, I'd like, be freaking out. I would just need to, like, I, I would need to be a silent observer. Like, I don't need you to know that I'm there. I would almost need to be silent, too. And just be like, oh, my God, no, like, wait, what? No, it's, it, I think it would be magic. Yeah, it'd be cool. Yeah. So, but speaking of meeting people. Speaking of. We had to tell a story about how we met Drew Barrymore. We do. <laughs> we do. Basically. Um, Long overdue story. Drew is actually the other B in this podcast, the B of Barrymore is WWBBBD. <laughs> yeah. Um, because Drew's basically our best friend. Yeah. Um, well, it could be like something, something WWB squared D. Like she could just be like, um, you know, like, um, like something, something like Bridget Drew, you know, like, you know, like, uh, Kel- Michael straight, Michael, Michael and Kiki or Strahan. What was that morning show that Kiki was Palmer was hosting? Can I with Michael Strahan you, and whoever? Just where it's just saw, their names. I just saw you work through all of that. <laughs> like, like you were like the you meme saying? where it's like the math going over. Well, I'm trying to think like whimsical whining, like but like that doesn't make sense. Like, what? What are you talking about? Whimsical? What is like whimsical? WW? Like Blake oh. Bridget Drew? But like, what would the WW mean? Just never mind. I'm over myself. I'm diarrhea of the mouth right now. So we're just moving on. They say that in the housewives. I was about to say that is a really unpleasant visual. (laughs) It's really one girl. She has it all the time. And she's always like, every time she fucks up, she's like, ah, diarrhea of the mouth again. (laughs) Everyone's like, yeah, girl, shove it back in. No, but Drew is, um, you know, she's she's our longtime friend. We've yeah, been we go way for back years now. Yeah, like two years ago. Like no, we, it's two years ago almost. Yeah, to like, the date. We didn't. Yeah. We meant to tell this. Uh, sorry, there's something in my eye. No, we meant to tell this story last year, last season. Yeah, I just don't. We had just like never got around to it. Question mark. Well, we we started the pod last year, like right around this time. Yeah. So it was fresh still. I feel it like. was fresh. Wait, no, because that was another year. It was two years ago. It was two years ago. But last we, year, you, yeah, because I didn't go, but you did. Yeah. Well, and it's also, I think we need to mark the occasion. We're like basically at the one year of WWBD. We started it last April. Oh, okay. Yeah. Around you this said, time. Yeah. We were going to look on our, yeah. When we uploaded, I guess. Yeah, I don't have my phone. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like our one year, so happy one year. Oh, God, happy one year. WBD turns one. We're going to get a cake. Oh, uh, my God. We'll do it when I come back. Yeah, we'll do cake. We'll have, and like, a celebration or yeah, something. Yeah. Okay, lit. We'll serve up cake, but we will also... Our booties will be the Yeah, they'll be too. caked. They're already we'll caked, caked up. We'll be caked up on a Tuesday <laughs> with our cake. Yeah. Um, but we wanted to tell this story because it's pretty iconic, what we did here. Um, and... It is this the time of year where the White House Correspondents' Dinner occurs. Um, so it felt, it felt right. It felt appropriate. It felt like it's time for the people to know when we met Drew. Yeah. And all those other famous people. Yeah. So it all started where, okay, well, first of all, I just, I didn't, like, 
I was trying to think about this today. I'm like, I feel like I didn't, like, I knew what it was. Mm -hmm. I just feel like, like, yes, it's cool and amazing and, like, slay. I think it's a much bigger deal here than, like, yeah. everywhere else. Like, I knew that it happened and, like, it's, like, yeah. just some dinner and, like, celebrities show up and it's kind of just, like, a little, like, baby pop culture moment. Like, yeah. but nothing like a Met Gala, nothing like an actual award show. But, yeah. like, still cool in its own yes. capacity. But, like, for the DMV, I feel like it's much more of, like, it's, like, a thing. It's a, And it's, it's, like, a week of parties and a weekend of happenings and, like... People who are in the scene are like doing the scene things, like going to places and spaces. And mm -hmm. so, it, yeah, I would just as context for anyone listening who might yes, be a little bit like, who don't know what the White House Correspondence Center yeah, is. It's, it's like, it, it's cool for here. Like, it's a big yes. deal for uh, being local. And I mean, even like our parents and stuff people who yeah. have known about the lore and the history right. of it all. And the president goes and it's like a whole, it's really a whole thing. Yeah. Um, celebrities like come and they're involved and yes. they go places. And it really sort of like, was booming the past like in the i feel like in the past decade it's really become like a whole like celebrity yes. to dogs yeah. type of thing i feel like that too but yeah. it's like i would equate it to like the media like the political fashion week almost yes. it's yeah, like that's a good it's one. just like all of the like political political adjacent media like all that sort of like converge upon washington dc and it's just like it's like your prom, your birthday, your wedding, and then like also Fashion Week all in one. And it's like you said, it's just like yeah, Fashion parties Week on is a really good uh, yes. yeah. example because it's a lot of like um, networking as well. Like it's a lot of that, but it's just, yeah, it's like everybody like puts and on like their every own party. fashion house, basically like yes. every media house yes. hosts yeah, different things. events and things. Yes. Yeah, or political organizations will host stuff yes. and whatever. So anyway, yes. that's like the context of it, right. just to like get it, and it's like not it's easy to get in i feel like if you're in the scene but it's a little bit harder if you're not maybe certain well, things yes how it so it's the the premise of the dinner is um yeah the, the dinner House specifically course, i just meant like the whole oh, like the week whole of thing. events yeah, like yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a lot yeah. of just like you kind of have to like you obviously have to have it in like it's not just like events that you sign up for you know yes it's like, yes it's very like lists segmented and invite lists and yes, yeah absolutely. and so people get on them and yeah, like yeah, yeah. invites probably usually aren't transferable no nope. and so it's like much more yeah, kind yes. of just to explain it. It's not like you can just like pop into a, a show, you know, and right. like watch it. It's like, no, like it's you can't a, just go on Eventbrite. Yeah. And be like, hey, I want to come. Um, but we were we were just living yeah. our lives. Not to like say that we're cool. I'm just trying to give context <gasps> no, to it. No, we're kind of cool. <laughs> well, but this was really something like it was just so unexpected. Yeah. And, like, it was like a whoa. right moment, right time. And just like you never right know place, who you're right going to meet on the street. And I feel like it's was like the real precipice for like everyone thinking I'm like the best networker ever. And I'm like, well, you, you just have to like go up to random people because you never them. know like what they're going to bring you. No, I said I to encapsulate this story. I'm like, I know growing up like stranger danger is a thing. But I'm like, sometimes stranger danger is like a beautiful thing, a beautiful thing. And you end up at the White House Correspondence Center like yeah. that, you know, like the day before. Yeah. So, so yeah. it was a Friday and we were just walking down the street. We, we were, were coffee shop Friday. Yeah. And it was like pretty early, like around four ish. I feel like yeah. we were kind of like playing a little bit of hooky from work because we were like, oh, uh, whatever. Yeah. It was the summertime. The well, sun it was, was this shining. time, but it was a summery day. Oh, it was like it was like that first real, real. Nice yeah. Like day. it was just like a, we were like, oh, it's fine. Like. We're on our phones. We have our laptops with us, but we're just yeah. going to go like on a little bit of a walk. And we're walking past this restaurant that we really liked. And there's this couple who are like poking their head in there and like looking at it. It hasn't opened yet. And I'm like, oh, like you guys should go in there. It's really good. Like we love it. And they were like, wait, oh my God. Like, uh, like tell us more. Or, mm -hmm. Like we're not from here. Like we're just like, we need a list of things to do. Or like, what's like a good place to get a drink or something. Like, they were just asking us like what they should basically do with yeah. themselves. And we were like, oh, oh my God. Like we love to give you recommendations. So I like go to the girl. I'm like, okay, give me your phone. Like I'm going to type everything in your phone. He gives lists, everything well, within like Bridget, yeah. the well, mile radius yeah, of that where we, were we are. At. We were yeah. like, okay, from here. You should go down this street this way. There's yeah. this, 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 this. This is a bar. This is a restaurant. Yeah. This place is this kind of food, whatever, whatever. And then this we were This has just, really good this. This has really good yeah. that. Yeah. And then when you leave this area, like go to the monuments, this, go to this museum, yeah, go to yeah. this you know whatever like we were just having a very like clearly we're local moment and me mm -hmm. and her were just like spit firing things to yeah. each other and like typing them down on this girl's phone and 
Then we just started talking about like why they were here. Yes, I feel because like. they're like, we're in from New York. And we were like, oh, so yeah, fun. Yeah, just we for the weekend. They like yeah, didn't really have the... time. Exactly. They were doing the monuments that night or yeah. something. Trying and they like... had different events to go to, too, like intermittently, yes. too. They're like, oh, we have this at this time, whatever. But we're like trying to grab a bite. And then we're like, maybe going to want to do brunch on Sunday and this. And we were like, oh, you should go here. Da, da. Yeah. If you want to do bottomless, this is this. Da, da. Yeah. And, um, we get to talking and she goes, yes, like I'm here. My boss is having a party and like whatever, whatever. And it basically comes up that they're in for the White House Correspondents Dinner. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh, my God. At the time, I hadn't even realized that it was that weekend because I wasn't going to any of the things. Yeah. So therefore, I was like, oh, this has nothing to do with me. And we we were we must have been talking to them for like a, a good 20 minutes on the side of the street there like on the sidewalk yeah just, it had been a hot minute yeah and um and all of a sudden she's like yeah you guys should like come she goes <laughs> do you guys want to come tomorrow night and we like we're like <laughs> wait what what do you mean <laughs> she's like come yeah she's like i'm like working the door like i'm in charge like it's totally fine like just come like i'm gonna send you the, the invite. invite or yeah. whatever and like just go like it'll be totally chill we like exchanged Instagrams, I think. We exchanged Instagrams, yes. And she... <laughs> which we'll come back which up. Which we will come back to, yeah. <laughs> so we're like, oh my God, yeah. And it was it was one of those things in my head where I was like, she's just saying that. Like, you know what I mean? Like when she like was saying it... how serious is she? I was kind of like, there's no way she's just yeah. inviting us We were really now. like gaslighting ourselves because yeah. we were like, well, if we said that to someone, like we would have meant it. Right. Because I'm like, that's not a thing you can just yeah. throw out there. And then we're like, like but then you also like, just like can't just come- like mosey on in. Precisely. Like, we were just, there was, we were so like, I was like, that's not how real was she being real? Like, yeah. are we like not like, was that just like a joke? And yeah. Like, like, was she just how VIP being is nice? the thing that she's even working? Like we were just right. like, we had no thoughts. Exactly. So <laughs> we kind of walked away from that and we were like, that was kind of crazy. Yeah. And then we went into a Walgreens cause you had to get film developed or something. Oh, okay. And so I couldn't even tell you what we back. did after that. Yeah. We circled back and then we were getting drinks with our friends, like for happy hour. And the whole time I'm kind of like, I wonder if I'm going to this tomorrow. Yeah. Like, I wonder, but we didn't bring it up because we were both just kind of like. I think by that point, she had messaged me on Instagram. She though, had then and messaged like, you and was sent, like, yeah. Yeah, and she sent like a photo of what the invite looked like because you thing. had to show that to like get past the first check in yes, spot at which the hotel. We will also circle back to. Yeah. So basically, we had like gotten a little bit of confirmation and we were like, oh, okay. Oh, like, she sent this like, kind of serious. Yeah. yeah. So then we're like, well, fuck, what do we wear? <laughs> so then. <laughs> Mostly Bridget. <laughs> Right, so then we leave drinks with our friends, and I look at Black. I go, I think I gotta go to the store tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, like, are we mall. doing this? And he goes, I think we should. Yeah, and I was like, like, we'll just go. Who cares? Whatever. We'll just go. So I wake up the next morning and I take my ass out to Pentagon City <laughs> to the mall. I'm in the Macy's. I'm like, I'm like throwing dresses. I'm like, I, I cannot look like a fool. Yeah, with all of these fancy people. Yeah. And um, land on a dress. Yeah, we were like texting all day. I'm like, I okay, like, this, I have this, 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 this. a suit. Yeah, I'm like, okay, whatever. You matched your tie to me. Yeah. It was really and cute. And I was like, whatever. Okay, yeah, okay. We went to prom, basically, yeah. together. And so we like get our outfits together. We're all together, whatever. It's mm-hmm. like the night of. We... I'm curling my hair. I'm yeah. like, we're going, I guess. Yeah. I and get in the Uber. Yeah. I double we, stop it. <laughs> we meet at the, we go to the hotel and we're at the hotel. But, Where the dinner happens every year. It's oh wait, this one hotel. Okay, yeah, but like for context in between that, we had not heard from her all day. <gasps> yeah. And I think I had sent her like two messages of just like, oh are my you- God, okay, like where are we going to meet beforehand or something? Yeah. And then I think I just said another one of like, we're coming or like, should we act like... Yeah, like we're going to be on our yeah, way. Yeah, like we're actually going, like whatever, haha, like I hope you see this or something. <laughs> but then I was like, okay, she hasn't responded or seen like either of the messages. To anything. But she yeah. also didn't, yeah, she didn't see them. Like on Instagram, you can see that it says yeah. seen. So I think we were like, okay, well, like we have to go. Like she did tell us to go. And like, I was like, we have the invite so we can at least... Get that far. Right. Well, and I think... We thought that that was getting all the way in. We come to learn that that wasn't. We did wasn't. not know because we had, again, never been before. Yeah. We and didn't then we were know like, the process. Right. And then we're like, well, she said she's working the door. So, like, we'll see her. Like, she'll phys- like we'll have to physically we'll see, see her. her. And we'll be like, like oh, Yeah, hey. she said she's doing the check-in. So, like, perfect. And so we, like, get there. And we just, like, obviously are having a little bit of uh, well, imposter syndrome because. Completely. It was just, like, these people know that we were not actually supposed to be here. No, no. Like, I, even though I we were of like, age, like, there was a lot of young people. Like, you oh, know, it's, it, there's a lot of and young people. And we totally matched the dress code. We, Nail, we nailed it yeah but we were we like looked just, really nice. you know like when you do something and like you know that you if know you're not that supposed to when you just assume that everyone else around you is like so is knows staring your secret. at you and they're like yeah. oh my god they just got invited on the side of the street yeah yesterday. whatever your secret is like you just are like everyone knows what's happening to me right now Completely. so we were kind of like freaking out and we're like 
in the lobby of this hotel and we like are scanning the place. Like I never felt like a spy in this moment because I was like, I have to find my fucking target. Yeah. <laughs> like it was this girl. I was like, if I don't see you, like we're going to have to like leave. We're going to have to loiter here. And then, then people yeah. are going to be like, oh, they're weird. And for context, when you walk into this hotel, it is pandemonium. There are people oh, yeah. everywhere and it's a full functioning hotel. So on top of the fact that you have this incredibly like, and there's large like, scale event. I think probably like five different pre-events there's to pre the actual events. dinner. Then there's a red carpet that's like on the lower level. There's like a different entrance. But again, there's also like Joe Schmo and his three kids yeah. and his wife who are in for the, the weekend. The bar and restaurant is packed. The bar is... It's, it's also a very big hotel. It's a so it's just like huge hotel. And there's just people everywhere. everywhere. And yeah. there's check in and all this sort of everyone's stuff. like cross walking you know like all different directions and like then we like didn't understand like Where the we mechanisms yeah i'm like what direction do i need to be going so it's, we start walking towards the like sort of shuffling of all the people that are well dressed like, yeah looking like they're and then going we're doing to recon because i'm kind of like we're like walking like like kind of behind people then like turning around no, and i'm like okay we're like trying to like collect information of like what are they asking for here because there was this one first check-in yeah and i was like oh my god like i like obviously we don't look like losers and like get denied from anything like that was my my biggest fear was not just getting denied but being like take them out like yeah. someone like escorting us out because like we're not supposed to be there but we did get invited and we also this was 2022 so there was also this like covid protocol as well so we oh, did we had to do I that whole even, app do you yes. remember that we did this like whole app oh my god thing, i totally forgot and about we that took tests that morning or yes that yeah. day yeah because it like was and there was like a barcode thing and we were like i was i don't get super nervous in that way but i had like a pit because i was like oh yeah we still hadn't heard yeah. from her so i haven't heard from her all day and this we're like kind of like sitting and waiting more and we're just like and where are we what going? do we do and then finally i'm like okay this first check-in all they need to do is see that we have it the photo yeah like everyone is just showing their phone i'm like okay i could tell that they were showing the same photo that we had had already so i was like okay we should be good to get past this first girl and we'll just have to like we have to get past her and then we have to see what the next what happens. thing is. We have to see what happens next. It's like a video game. Like get past this level and just like, you know, go attack the next beast or whatever. So we're like, okay. So we finally, we show our thing. She lets us through. We're like, oh, oh my God. Okay. Like, we're, so we're, we're good. Then we're like, we made it. Like we're in. We're like, in. No. No. <laughs> There's a long hallway. Of party after party yes. after pre-party after pre-party. It's like some of them are inside some of them are outside and yeah. it's like different people checking in and, and they we're all like, had check-in people and then so we're like okay iPads galore like, we gotta find her media company because that's where she's gonna be luckily there was bathrooms right there because thank god the way that we were in and out of those bathrooms like four times, four times. just trying to walk first of all i thought i was gonna throw up i was so nervous <laughs> second of all i'm like I, 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 we, we have to look like we're supposed to be standing here because exactly. we're really just looking for this now we're girl. loitering in the hallway and everybody else is like going into a, the party to the party that they were invited to yeah. and so we were like fuck 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 and so I'm like, we had to keep walking past each like party to try to like look in and like to see, if, see we if we could find, find her. Because she wasn't outside of any yes. of the parties. And, and we're like, we thought she was working at the door. I know. And then we're like, I think we were there for like 20 minutes in that hallway. Oh, a long time. We kept being it felt like, like seven years. No, it did. Because we kept being like, okay, like a couple more minutes and if she doesn't show up. Like We're we, going to leave. We have to leave. Yeah. Because yeah, we're like, we we're, tried. we're, we're tried. fucked at this point. And we're like sitting there, we're sitting there and we're like, oh my God, like, this is so annoying. Like, do we leave? And I'm like, she still hasn't said anything. And I think I'd sent her one more message of like, like we're, we're here. here. Yeah. Like this is where we are in the hotel. We're like, oh my God, oh my God. And then like literally like out of a movie, I like she like, we're staring at the elevator. We're Yeah. We're staring at like the elevator bank that's across from the, like the lobby bar. Basically like restaurant. towards the exit. Like we were like we're, looking we're at like we're leave. leaving. Yeah. Like everyone behind us of where we had come from. Mm -hmm. And we see the elevator open and we're like, oh. Oh my god, it's her. We're like, it's her. It's her. It's her. It's her. But then we had a moment where we were like, okay, is it weird that we're here? <laughs> I know. Then we're like, fuck. Oh my god, we can't like, go up to her. Like, we're gonna do look we like go losers. Up to her? Like, we're gonna look like such losers. But I'm like, we we're here. I'm in a gown. Yeah. I'm in a gown, Blake. Blake's in a suit. Like, we're like, <laughs> we can't we can't see her and then just walk out the door. I like, know. We we made it here. Like so, literally YOLO. <laughs> like literally YOLO. Like that is the perfect fair paraphrase was, or like we just were so for this. like so in our head like and then so we're like okay so like we stressed. have to go up to her but then we had to go back out oh, we had to leave like the first checkpoint that, that we, we already made went through past. and we were yeah. like oh fuck okay we, well we have to go like we, we have just, to go yeah and so we like well when she gets off the elevator she like makes a beeline to like a table and chairs it, it, like to sit down for a second yeah like yeah. she had to like do something clearly yeah and we're like okay like we have to go up to her to go up to her and so i think we finally like yeah we left we and we just kind of like we moseyed like, up to her we were like hey, hey. 
Yeah. And she goes, oh my God. <laughs> she was so excited. Yeah. And so a, a, like a wave of relief oh, washed yeah. over she me. Was, like, she was like jumping so, up so, and down. Like, you came, you came, yeah, yeah, you came. And I was like, oh thank God, thank God. Thank God it's not weird. And her her boyfriend at the time, now husband, yeah. which is so fun because we still follow each other. Um was like, oh my God, we're so glad. We were so worried you guys weren't going to come. And we're like, well, you weren't responding to any yeah, of our messages. Like, Girl, we were worried. Like, we were we, worried. We, we so showed up here. Anxiety. We met you yesterday <laughs> and you invited us. I went and bought a gown this no, morning. Seriously, like, and then it was just silence. <laughs> it was literally. And we were like, oh my God, God Like, we were just ever. So we're like telling her our whole side of, of the of story. Here, yeah. of exactly. And then she's like, well, you're never going to guess what happened to me. She had quite the day as yeah, well, which way explains worse. the silence. Yeah. And so we're like, oh my God, okay, girl, like, that, what happened? Basically, her phone broke. Like, her phone kaput. Yeah. On arguably like one of the dead. busiest days professionally. Oh, yeah. For her. She was just like a hot ball of stress, I and feel like. She was using her boyfriend's phone, but it was like, it was a, like, she could not get any of, yeah. she basically got back online like maybe an hour before we I think saw like her. when she sat down like she was doing something on, on her, her phone, phone to get it back up and it back running up. Yeah. yeah so basically like she's like okay yeah, like my phone literally stopped working like it woke up and it wasn't working and she was like the executive assistant for her like for the a boss uh, for a very important person yeah and so it's like she uh, like <laughs> if anyone had to have her phone it's it was her, her. And so it, like, wasn't working, and she, like, couldn't figure it out, whatever. She went to, like, three or four different phone stores and Apple stores and whatever, trying to get it fixed. Just trying to it get something. Work. Yeah, and it took her, like, all day, apparently. And, like, obviously, at this point, it was maybe, like, around 5 o'clock-ish, 6 um, o'clock. Yeah, it was, like, 5 o'clock. A little early in the afternoon, just because, yeah. obviously, it's, like, the pre-thing and then the dinner. So the anyway. dinner starts then, yeah, yeah, at dinner time. Right, and so... She had her phone. It was literally like a wiped iPhone. Like there was nothing. It was like on the it. color, like the the colored background, like yeah, the, like the she, generic. I don't think like, she had a case on it. She's like, look, this is literally my phone. Like I have nothing. She had no text messages. Nothing. I don't even think she got into her iCloud. She hadn't like, logged into her Instagram yeah, yet to see yeah. our messages. She didn't log into her Instagram. She didn't even have the app downloaded. <laughs> no, no, no. She was I think like, she like, only like had her email. She's Maybe like, I promise that. I didn't intentionally ghost you guys. She goes, I've just had the worst day. We're like, oh my god, it's okay. I'm trying to help her like put her bracelet on. Like yeah. it was oh, just yeah. pandemonium. Like. We were just like, uh, then we here. felt like, oh my god, we're so annoying, like yeah. we're so silly. Like, she's like, but she was worse. like, I, because I guess her and her boyfriend, like when they were running around to all these different stores, she's like, I wonder if they're still gonna come. Like I hope they still <laughs> come because, like, she's like, I have no way to get in contact yeah. with them right now, though. And I don't think we followed him yet. I think we, we didn't. Just we did. It was just her. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think we debated. I was like, oh my I was god, like, should, should we DM follow him? him? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, no, that's weird, right? Like that's I, we determined that, that it was weird. Yeah. Because we almost did. Because I think we didn't think that until we got there. We or something like it was we really were late in the uber every other second i'd be like do you think it, do i don't we like, were just did like she say oh, anything think, i'm like oh let me, no no oh, okay just, we, <laughs> and we roll in it's like us and the celebs and the senators and the congress people and we're just like oh well. yeah so we're like oh my god okay so she like gets herself situated she's like, okay i like let's go like we need to go in like i need a drink like i'm over this yeah whatever. she's like we're, we're going to the party now yeah. we're going we're i was like, like oh Okay. I said, we're going so to the party now. We get behind her and it's like her leading the three of us and yeah. she we just march through everyone. Like she literally was like, You don't need to talk first, to them. Yeah. <laughs> fuck the first check in. You don't person. need to talk to them. You don't need to talk yeah. to them. And we were like We go to this <laughs> then we are like in that back in that hallway and we're like, Oh my god, like our our scary place. <laughs> and then we get to the door of the media party that we're she was hosting. People saw us loiter for oh, literally yeah. twenty we were, minutes. Like we were just there loitering. And they're like, oh, so they weren't weirdos. Like they yeah. were supposed to be here. And then everyone's like, Oh my god, hey, hey, hey. They're like all like <laughs> screaming hey to her. She's like, hey, and she just like marches her through. She's like, you don't even check in, just go. We're going. No, in. she's literally like, just, just walk. Yeah, ahead. she's like, stop. Don't like, ask oh. them anything. And we're like, oh, okay, okay, okay. She's like, she's like, they're with me. And yeah. I said, we're with her. We're, we're with her. her. <laughs> <laughs> we just like run in to and then the all of a sudden, party. We're at this par- this we're star in the party. event, which and I feel like was probably like the bigger one that year. I think so. The pre-party, like for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like at the dinner, like. We get in there. There's this red car. All this stuff. I look at Blake. I go, where the fuck are we? I know. I was like, I'm oh my god. Like, I see a famous person there. I see a famous person there. I yeah. see this governor. I see that. I'm like, what the fuck is going? On? Yeah, it was very like, oh my god. It was, and I was like, how do I not be weird? And I'm like, well, now like now, what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> Like, we got there uh, and we were like, okay, now what? Like, I know, and then she's like, okay, what? like, I have to obviously go to, we are like, oh like, my God, no, like, literally, no, like, like, we are so self-sufficient. No, like, you're, leave us. Yeah. Leave us be. Leave us be. And we were actually, we spent most of the party hanging out with her boyfriend. Yeah, I was going to say, then so we were fun. with her mans, because yeah. she was, like, flying around, yeah. and, you know, doing her work Networking, things. working, doing yeah, the thing. Yeah, making sure her boss was good. Yeah. And then, so we were with him, and then he kind of left us, and then we were just like... 
standing around and like just walking back and forth between the venue of just like oh we're over here and like, we were drinking we're like, the drinks is oh what we yeah were, we, were we said fucked up. if it's free it's me i know i was like we're not actually staying we don't know these bitches <laughs> I, like, I don't know a single person yeah, here i exactly. don't know a single goddamn person and so here. we're just like back and forth we're just scoping out the entire little vicinity that we were in and then we get to like a really crowded point and we're just like where there was like a photo op situation. It was like there was by something one of the holding bars. us up. Yeah. yeah. And we're just like kind of standing there. And I think you're in front of me. I I'm was pretty in sure. front of you. Yeah. Yeah. And we're just like, whatever. And I'm like, I like look to my left and I'm like, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, that's like literally Drew Barrymore's like her side profile. And like, we're like this. Like, she's literally right next to me. Right like, you next would stand in like. And like a roller coaster line or something like it was. We were basically touching. Like I'm it not was, trying. To, like no, it was surreal. Yeah. I was like, you, we're closer than this right now. Like, like than, than we are sitting yeah, next like, to each other. I was like, I could have no. like, oh my god, it was and really then we crazy. Were like trying not to be loud, and I was like, I really, and I was like, no, and, was and like, we were there for like a her. hot second. We had been there for a minute. Because like I think she we debated just, like a couple of minutes before yes, even saying anything, and yes. I was like, oh my god, like again, YOLO. Like I had to say something. I had to say yes. something. I had to say something. And I was like, no, I don't. And I was just like, how does one? And then, of course, it's Drew Barrymore. So everybody's coming up to her and yeah. saying hello. And so then I'm like, okay, this is well received. Like, everybody's kind of been saying hi to her, like, whatever, whatever. And Blake, explain your love for Drew. Oh, right. So the Charlie's Angels movie and Charlie's Angels and then Charlie's Angels Full Throttle are like, you know, top five favorite movies for me. I watch it all the time, left and right, childhood movie, whatever. And so I'm like, oh my God, like I have to say something to her. Like I have to tell her that like I love the movie. Like huge fan. Because it's like, like we would die for this movie. We cannot leave. It got to the point where I was like, okay, no, like we have to say something because we can't, we can't walk out of here. After everything that's happened, yeah. we can't leave here without the, saying I had a dream. Trials and tribulations that we had to face. <laughs> like we are we've come too far to give we've up come now. Too far. Again, I went to the mall this morning <laughs> and bought a gown. Okay. And Drew Barrymore is gonna see me in this goddamn gown. Okay. Yeah. And so And so I'm like, okay, like I have to see that. So I finally I lean over. You, I let you take the lead. You yeah. kind of like scurried around, like there was then people kind of like packed in and you kind of like skirted around and we like made it seem like it was like kind of an in passing thing like it, oh we're yeah. passing by because now we were like she was facing this way and we were facing this way because we yeah. were gonna we were going in opposite directions, directions so i was like yeah. okay this is perfect i'll just lean over say something and then the crowd should open up and we'll just like move yeah and so i like leaned over i was like oh my gosh like you're drew barrymore and she's like yeah and i'm like oh I'm, like such a big fan like i love the charles angels movie like it's one of my favorites or something so Blake says this, and I'm just standing there like, he, yeah, like, like looking <laughs> like a goober behind Blake because I'm like, this is my bestie's moment. This is my yeah. bestie's moment. Like he's meeting Drew Barrymore. And she's like, oh, that's and so sweet of you. And she whips around yeah. and looks at both of us and goes, oh my God, like you guys yeah. look great. Yeah. Or she was and like, was, oh, yeah, it's like, are you with her? And I was like, yeah, because our then because we were matching. And she's like, oh my God, yeah, you guys, you look, guys look so great. great. Or you and look we so were like, cute or whatever. We look great. You yeah. look great, Drew Barrymore. And she could not have been nicer. Yeah, she said like a one or two more things. And then I was like, oh my God. Like I kind of blacked out. Yeah, well, then I, I remember saying this. If I was like, oh my gosh, well, like, let me know if you need anything. Like, I'll <laughs> get like, it. Do, <laughs> but like, do, <laughs> but she was like, oh, you're so sweet. I'm good. And I was like, because, do you want a drink? Yeah. What can I get you? Yeah, I was like, I will go get Fucking Drew needs something, bitches. Get out of my fucking way. I, I'm getting like, this drink for Drew Barrymore. <laughs> I had to help on my girl. So it I was, and she just kind of like started laughing and she was like, oh no, I'm she, fine. She's like, like, you guys are so nice. And yeah. She was She's like, you guys look great. Like, have a good rest of your like, evening. And we were like, oh, you like, too. Drew, you have a great yeah. night. It was it was perfect. She was so kind. Like, I'll never forget. She like literally like looked at both of us and was like, You guys look so great. And I was like, Drew Barrymore. You did not just say that to me. Oh, yeah. I think that was my caption was like, you look great. But then they're like, dash Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. Yeah. Drew Barrymore oh, okay. told us look, we looked no, great. No, she literally did. And Drew Barrymore could not have looked greater. Yeah. She looked good. She had a Majestic. cute like, jumpsuit she on. She looked something. so cute and just. Oh, my God. So then we like run away. So. Like we, we literally bolted away I'm, from there. I am moving. <laughs> I'm like, moving. Our through adrenaline this crowd. is so high. Because we, we're like, I can't freak out. Yeah. Right when she's right next to no, us. No, exactly. We had to get away. So we like jump in line and there's this For like, the next a different bar. A different bar, yeah. There's like this group of like <laughs> fifty to sixty year old like, men behind middle us. Middle aged, upper middle aged men. And, and could, me and Blake are like, Yeah, we could tell we were being so like giddy. They were like cracking up. And then we had to tell them the entire story. Oh my god. They they were eating it up. They loved They were so obsessed. We were like, Oh my god. So then Blake went over and then she turned to look at Bridget. And she said that we looked good. And they were laughing at 
at us. They were like, oh my God, that's so funny. And we were like, can you believe that? I know. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're like probably like semi famous or no, something. And like, I'm like, they I don't, for sure I don't know were who you somebody, are. but I was like, you're not Drew Barrymore. No, so exactly. again, I don't, you know. Shut up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen. Oh God, it was oh so God, funny. It was so funny. And then. And then we got drunk. Yeah. And um, we saw Miranda Kerr, but she was literally oh, we getting saw Miranda Kerr, crowded. The, we saw the Victoria's Secret supermodel. Yeah. Miranda Kerr and her Snapchat boyfriend or her Snapchat I don't husband. Even know, I didn't know who he was. Husband's you were, like the CEO yeah. of Snapchat. Oh yeah. You were saying that. Again, these are the people we're brushing elbows with. And me and We were kind of waiting for a while to say hi to her because she had the same color pink on as yeah, us. Yeah. We actually, me and Miranda Kerr actually matched. Yeah. But then um, people kept like swarming her, I feel like. People kept, people were Then I kind of felt bad for her because I was like, I feel like these are like not people that she wants to talk to like I it wasn't giving she, i think she was very much so like her husband's date to this yeah. event like she was like a little was, cornered like, i feel like or yeah. just like they were in like a was, space like, where like i feel like she couldn't really like move, move anywhere yeah, yeah like she was just kind of stuck there and like more people just like kept coming up and like interacting, interacting. with them yeah 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 and like i mean we were kind of like waiting in line to do that not really though well, no we were being casual like we were like leaning up against a little table like having our drink and like taking in the sights and of the she was just like literally around the corner like from she was us. literally right there yeah. and i was like do we say something i was like oh we're kind of twinning except she's Miranda Kerr and this is from Macy's so yeah <laughs> like if the opportunity arose Arises, sure but we yeah. weren't like we had enough of, we got Drew that was like yeah, but no, <laughs> we didn't I, even know was there we, uh, we, I didn't like it, I think it was like, just like I just was like looking at her and I'm like oh my god that's like well Drew, her yeah it yeah. was Drew Raymore just there and um, so then the, the pre-party ends and the dinner begins, like the legitimate dinner event that's in the gigantic ballroom. Which we didn't have a seat for that. We did not have obviously. tickets to that. And she's like, sorry guys, can't get... And we were like, oh my I God. Said, like, don't be literally, sorry. Literally. That's not so, even... No, like you're so fine. So then... Well, we're... we're, we're my adrenaline is pumping like we're, oh, we're like high. high as a cloud i'm like so we we're doing something after bar. this yeah i'm like money is, doesn't count money today. doesn't like, exist we yeah. go to the hotel bar we're drinking champagne me and oh, Blake. Yeah. we're at the hotel bar drinking champagne and we're sitting next to this guy and i'm we spark up conversation oh my God, I forgot about him. and we're talking and he's like yeah my girlfriend's at the dinner i didn't really want to go so he's just sitting there so we, we, spark, we end up talking to that guy for like an hour and yeah a we half. were there for a while i feel so like so long and then we were like we're starving. Yeah. So then we get ourselves a nice Italian dinner. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, we're all dressed up. Like, was, we get ourselves a nice Italian it dinner. It was fabulous. We had some drinks. We had an incredible evening. No, it was like, it was so funny. It was so crazy. And then the next day, I'm trying to explain to people what oh, yeah. we did that night. Un- inexplainable. Yeah. My grandma calls me. She goes, I heard something yeah. that you did something. I said, it's true. The rumors are true. <laughs> I met Drew Barrymore. It happened, y'all. Yeah, it that was... it was just like a talking point, obviously. It still is. Yeah. It still is. For a while there, I had to sh- share the good news. <laughs> Told all my family and friends to know. It was crazy. It was just, it was so fun. Told and everyone then, at work. <laughs> everyone at you know, I, I walked into work the next morning, and uh, my boss at the time was like, you know, at all the different events of the week. Right. And he goes, hey, I uh, I heard you were at the... Th-. I was like, sure was. Yeah. He's like, how'd that happen? I said, I talked to a stranger on the street. Yeah. And Wouldn't he goes, you like no. so no? Yeah. I was like, I literally just talked to a stranger and now we're besties. And the three of us and Drew Barrymore uh, brushing elbows <laughs> and hanging out with the stars. And he's like, oh my God. Like you don't just like, do that I either? I was like, yeah. Like, I was just. The yeah. yeah. It was really like, it's just was so much fun. And it was such like a f- cool, like, like, again, we tell this story two years. We're going to be telling this story 50 years from now. Yeah. It was really such a blast. Yeah, it was fun. And it's just is wild and then i tell it's like my precipice to tell everyone of like no like i'm i'm not a good networker i'm just good at talking to people and they just happen to always not always they they do want to talk to you no they just happen to like be someone that's like oh you're like kind of useful right now but it's like sometimes when you're at like specific networking events it's like like who the fuck do i talk to or there's like nobody here or like whatever whatever it's like no it's just like it has to be the universe spur of the moment like standing in line for a coffee walking down the street like just be a nice good person like yeah. you never know what's basically gonna happen give people restaurant recommendations you know that's what i'm saying mm-hmm. like the randomest thing so yeah. and then she came last year yeah they came the, the next year and bridget was working it this year because they came and saw me when i was bartending yeah i wasn't you were there. doing something i though. had left i think i had a work thing but i yes yeah yeah, yeah. Kind of and wild. I don't. And I, but I saw her last year. Oh yeah, you saw her I was at there. the. Yeah. yeah, I was there for work, but I saw her and I helped her put her press on nail. Oh my god! <laughs> She's like, you. "Can you help me?" I was like, "Yeah, girl, yeah. no worries." 
<laughs> I got you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're, you know, I want, I, I should, um, DM her and see if she's coming again this year. I know, but didn't she say that you like looked at I her? I think she has a different job now. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. Maybe she'd still come. You could double check. Yeah, yeah, you should. Yeah. But, um, it was really just, it's it really what, the it's power next weekend? of weekend. Uh, it's this upcoming weekend. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Like yeah, a yeah. Week yeah. Yeah. From a week yesterday. From, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> I just swallowed my spit really fast. It's okay. That's so embarrassing. I was yakking up a storm when I was having my hot mess salad. Oh oh, Went down the wrong pipe. Was it pipe. good though? It was literally so good. <coughs> Dropped the recipe. Okay, so that's what I did. I'm so sorry to the listeners who had to just listen to me <laughs> choke on my own spit. Literally, I'll decrease it. But okay. I took. So, okay, so I've been getting the cruciferous, cruciferous mix from Trader Joe's, and then you saute it so that the kale is, like, mm. better to eat in the Brussels sprouts or whatever. Yeah. So it's just kind of warm. And then I put cabbage and shredded carrots, and then I did a um, turkey burger that I cooked Yum. and cut up. I added some farro, and I used— You love farro. I know. I used the um, honey mustard pretzel bites <gasps> as croutons. Yo, it was so good. And I put cheese and I squeezed a lemon. I did like a scoop of Greek yogurt, just kind of like like the creaminess. And then I was wanted to have like a honey mustardy dressing, but I didn't have any mustard besides like yellow mustard. And I was like, that's not the vibe. So I just did oil and vinegar. It was literally so, so good. good. I was obsessed. That sounds delicious. It was fire. Okay. I know. So that's what I have. Your hot mess salads just keep getting better and better. No, like I seriously need to be brought on as a consultant for like a kava, a sweet green or whatever. Like how Renee Rab had her thing. Like it's in my head yeah. of like when I when become I famous, yeah. I'm collabing with the restaurant and we're doing hot mess salads. Yeah. And like that's just the vibe. And it's just like kind of every week it, it is In the presentation, is. like there is no presentation. Like it's a tossed no, salad. Like it has salad. to look like a hot mess a he little bit. my salad. His name is Romaine. Romaine. Uh, <laughs> and I gotta use funky things. Like, I feel like the honey nut pretzel thing. Like, that yeah, was like, like something honey mustard. Like, hot messy. Because it's like, you know, you just like put shit from your house, like your pantry, and you just make it and it turn it into a salad. Like, yeah. there, the, the, rule, ugh, the rule is there are no rules. When it comes to hot mess salads, mm-hmm. there's no rules. Well, there is only one rule when it comes to salad, and that's just like watch the dressing. But I feel like that's like universal, you know? Like, you don't ever want too much dressing on your salad. For yeah. your whatever your personal dressing yeah. preference is, yeah. like I feel like just overdressing or underdressing is kind of like the main thing that yeah. like ruins salad. I hate an underdressed salad, you know. But it's like I also hate an overdressed salad. I do. Like if yeah. there's a pool of it at the bottom, no. I'm disgusted. No, yeah. But you go because that, then those last bites aren't good. They're real soggy. No, and then yeah. just like the calories that they carry. But mostly just for the fact of like yeah. it can really make or break if the salad's good or yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can always add more. I had a really well dressed salad today. Oh, yeah. It was a good seize. Yum. And I will say a seize zer salad <laughs> <laughs> has to have the shredded or not the shredded parm the shaved parm yeah that the really, big foils of it or whatever yeah, yeah that really makes curls. a difference because it's all like then it's like the same kind of like size as the lettuce bite yeah and chunky more yeah it's really satisfying and okay I this, love that. Uh, anyways this salad was really good yeah it, was, <laughs> it wasn't as good as your hot mess salad sounds but it was a good tease it was good i'll tease, make it for yeah. you sometime oh my god thanks babe but anyway that's our white house correspondence yeah, dinner how fun. Uh, story time that we are finally sharing with you. Yeah. We have a couple more stories that we, we meant do. to share last year. Um, and we have guests that we want to bring on, but we're still figuring out that yeah. infrastructure. Yeah. But I think this is going to get us on the right track now we're that we've got We're moving and fixed. shaking now. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, okay, this, I feel good. I feel like we could do like the two just like there. Yeah. And three people just on the couch, on the like speaking sitting. into them. Yeah. I'm excited about it. I think yeah. It's we're going to, we'll do some test trials and. We have yeah. honestly like. People are hitting me up being like, when am I going to be on the pod? No, I'm I like, know. Oh, like. They're obsessed and okay, sick. Okay. Like, I mean, yeah. You well, rule number one is you have to listen to it. That is, that is the rule. <laughs> I, well, I, I, I ask, are, are you a listener? Yeah. And, and like, I know who the listeners Rule number two is like, are. you have to cross promote. You have to cross promote. You know, like the. Cross platform. Exactly. Promotion, like you have to sure. push it out too, you know. Like I it's was a saying trade. this today. You want to be I on? Think... Okay, you got to put some marketing budget behind it. <laughs> Get into it. Put some, uh, put your money where your mouth is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was saying today, because uh, I posted an Instagram story, I was so brave. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> it was good, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, I was like, oh, I really should 
post on Instagram. <laughs> No, like you really should. I should. And Kala took that really cute picture of me yesterday too. No, like Bridget, like you need to. I like need I need to. you to. Yeah. No, Blake is. Because then you can get more Instagram fame and engagement, and then like when you're sharing about the pod, like it will just help us yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I am carrying the weight in that endeavor. You really are. But uh, but I, here's the thing. I'm not gonna get to the like influencer no, you celebrity don't have to be. type. But you just have to be more active. active like show it. that you are an active girl. Yeah. Like, and you do yeah. do things. And yeah. like what would Blake and Bridget do? She would show you the things that she's doing. doing. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Okay, I feel like I'll have some good content. And then, like, when we the... have new fans and they're like, oh my God, like, I'm going to go look and follow them, like, they can see what you're up to recently. It's like, yes. doesn't really help seeing what you did in 2020, you know, one. Yeah, or whenever year, your though. last Instagram post was. I'm a... it's but my you got to keep it up with the times. You know? I do, I do. I need to. Yes, I do. And I have. I they have... just need more content to stalk you on and get obsessed about you. With. <sighs> you're so right. Yeah. You're right. Like all good points, all good points. And I feel like I have a, I have <laughs> the, a good. The cons are there are no cons. The cons are there are no cons. <laughs> I feel like I have a good from like the start of the year till now. I have a good chunk of things that I can. You post. have so much content. Yeah, I do. I'm always taking your photo too. No, you literally are, and you're always you're always being like post. Yeah, post. like anytime I'm I send you a photo of this, you're like post it, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. And then I just you don't. don't. No, that's my um. You, well, listen, I besides running. <laughs> That's your. Uh, I was literally about to I say, I'm like, so I said that I was going to start running on this podcast, and now I said I'm going to start <laughs> posting more on Instagram on this podcast. You can change it; they're editable. To, yeah, no, I'm still like, I'm. Still, You're going to start running to post more. Running, That's what you meant. I'm going to start running to my phone to post mm-hmm. the photos. That's so open exa- the Instagram. App. That's exactly what I meant. <laughs> my fingers are going to be running across the screen. Period. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's too funny. Yeah. Well, we hope you enjoyed this story. It was a fun one. Yeah. I'm glad it was we really like so finally electric. got to like state it. Yeah. That was really. Lack of a That was term. like the start of. I mean, like we were friends before that but like that was really the start we we got into so that many shenanigans spring, though, i was gonna say that spring when so we were coffee shop friday i feel like was really solidifying like truly all of our things yeah. beer girl blake that white house correspondence dinner thing that era the birth of this podcast yeah like there was just a lot i feel like that that was like yeah um, the universe was moving it was coffee shop things. fridays miss her i know we should bring it back we should we'll we, work on it yeah Okay, anyway. In the meantime, <laughs> where can they find us? Thanks for asking. <laughs> Drew Barrymore's bestie. Um, where can you find us? Where can you not find us? Well, listen, hey, you should might, follow us on Instagram. It might be hard to find Bridget on Instagram. <laughs> recent Bridget. Recent Bridget. Well, listen, but they should follow now to see my my upcoming post. The evolution of your post. content. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but you should be definitely following this podcast at WWBD Pod on Instagram and on TikTok. Blake's killing it with the clips. They're so good, so funny, because we're so good and so funny, but he picks the perfect moments. So definitely watch those and like and comment. And also at WWBD Pod under score on x and we'll see you in the next one thanks for joining us as always we love ya bye <laughs>